In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to write SQL queries. First of all, we will have to connect to the database server. In this tutorial, we will use our own PC as the server, and therefore will specify local in the server name field. For the authentication, we will choose the Windows authentication option and click on connect below. With that done, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio will open up, displaying the databases on the left side of the screen under the object Explorer. Before writing the actual query, we have to select the database first. This is because if you have multiple databases, this will ensure that the query runs only on that particular database. To select a database, simply right-click on the database and select the New Query option from the menu. With that done, the Query Editor window will open up. SQL queries are used to fetch data from the database, and you can provide various functions, operators, and clauses for viewing and manipulating the data. Basically, the queries start with the select keyword, which is combined with different operators. So let us start with a very basic query, which will display the entire records for the employee table. The structure of our query would be select, followed by the asterisk sign. This sign is used to fetch all the fields from the selected table. After that comes the name of the table. Over here, the name of the employee table is EMP. Now we have to execute it by clicking on the Execute button located on top. You can even press F5 on your keyboard. After that, our query would be executed, and you can see that the query is executed successfully. The results are shown below the query editor over here. And that's it. 